Welcome to Amy's Kitchen. Kitchen is my niche. It can be yours too. And remember, you are precious. Hello! Welcome to Amy's Kitchen. If you are someone new to cooking or you are trying to lose weight, well then join me in my kitchen because I am going to teach you some low caloric, time effective and self created recipes. So what am I going to cook today? Pizza. But again, it's a time efficient recipe. So I will teach you a very easy way to cook uh, this pizza. Also, I will teach you one drink. Okay, no wasting of time. Let's get started with our cooking. What are the things you would need? Um, this is a ready dough. And be careful when you go to Lidl, for example. There are two kinds of doughs, one in a red uh, cover and one is in a green cover. Green ones are uh, more healthy options. As you can see, this is green. It says whole grain wheat flour. And it has a tomato sauce in it. What else? marinated chicken it can be marinated fish as well uh, and as you can see it's 30 percent off always go for the cheap options basically you can take any marinated form of chicken or fish and then uh, you just uh, add it to this ready dough and it will be ready and one more i think i would also add capsicum three different forms of pepper and this will give beautiful colors to my pizza. Also, uh, healthy. Let's get started. With preparing the chicken. First, get your pan to full uh, heat. Add oil to it. Pizza is more tasty when you add olive oil to it. So when the pan is fully hot, you add the oil to it and add chicken to it. Let's see what we have here. And then whatever sauce is remaining, I'm just gonna pour it on top of that chicken. Okay, so seems like it's gonna take a little while before it gets ready. Uh, I'm keeping it to a medium flame so that it cooks well from inside. Uh, next thing I would like to do, prepare my Pizza dough. Well, it's already ready, I know. But the thing is that I will cook it for some time, like 10 minutes or so before I uh, add vegetables and chicken on top of it. Because if I put all of the chicken and uh, cut pepper to it on the top and then put it in the oven, uh, it is not cooked so well this dough remains raw so you see it is so easy just unwrap it unfold it then they have provided uh, us with the pizza sauce which I'm gonna 
add on top of it. Like that. So it's evenly distributed. Good. Now, time to flip my chicken. To cook it from both sides. Cool. It's cooking well. And now I set my oven to 200 degrees Celsius. So my oven should be ready by this time. So now I just start the timer. Put this in the oven. Ten minutes it's gonna take. Meanwhile, I'm gonna cut my vegetables. Time to take out my pizza dough. So half it's not fully cooked and this is what we wanted so this is a cheese uh, it says 12 percent fat so any cheese that is less than 17 percent should be okay uh, from health point of view and e even if you don't add the cheese to your dishes it's perfectly fine but to pizza it, um, yeah, that's fine if you're on a low diet, uh, low calorie diet. These are basically uh, those um, black olives, uh, cut black olives. Again, time effective recipe. Just about to get ready. Salt and black pepper. Not too much, your flavor only and salt then again to taste you know if you have problems of uh, hypertension that is high blood pressure you can add no salt you know you can just skip it and pepper also is just for flavor it's uh you you can do without it but it's just gonna add more flavor All of this capsicum goes on top of the dough. Again, evenly distributed. Chicken evenly distributed. Taking these slices and I put them out in the center and and now the olives basically I will add them on top of the cheese mm, looks nice so 10 minutes I cook the dough before and I'm gonna place this again for another 10 minutes and then it will be fully ready to eat. Again, 200 degrees. It's on and I set the timer again for 10 minutes. This is ready. And 
Now I'm gonna take out the stuff that I will need to make my drink for the day. It's called raspberry drink. Self-created again. And it is so easy to make it in this mixer. I have always this on my kitchen counter and I make a lot of smoothies and drinks at least one per day and that helps me keep hydrated also to get all the required nutrients that you need in a day for that I need this blender so raspberry for a raspberry drink with stevia no sugar black salt or you can add uh, the normal salt table salt but this black salt black salt which is easily available in uh, the Africa Asian market markets uh, it is more tasty just to your taste add them to your taste again to your taste or just a normal salt again to your taste add this in a bottle this black salt same one that I'm gonna add to my face and then cold water Remember to catch me up in the next program that's all for today and remember to enjoy your cooking see you girls and guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe